Hey guys, me Lunar. Welcome back to another Player Known Battleground video for Xbox One. Today we're going over this week's community post, which is mostly a recap of older stuff than any new info, but still I like to cover them and at least we can keep the conversation going for the game. Also, I have a Black Ops video out right now if you're interested. I know not all of you are, but check it out anyway. If this video is helpful, a like is very much appreciated. The first thing discussed in this week is the lost connection to host error. As stated previously, the lost connection to host bug has been a top priority for the devs to fix, and this has been a tough one to crack because they have not been able to reproduce the error in-house. To accelerate the tracking down the cause of the issue, they have added the match session ID to the lost connection to host error message, and they want players who have this problem to submit their gamer tag and the session ID whenever they submit a report. So basically they don't really have any idea what's wrong and they're still investigating so don't expect any fixes for the lost connection to host error anytime soon and that is a bit frustrating because it is a very annoying bug as you may have known the pts is up and running with a new update for everyone to test out the pts update brings out new content like the barrel m762 the mk47 mutant the scooter, the tuck shy, as well as plenty of quality of life updates and bug fixes. But there was also a new hotfix released as well. Fixed an issue where the left stick, the character movement one, acted too sensitive and was causing drift. Fixed an issue where auto run would stop with a minor L stick movement, and EU servers have been opened up on the PTS for third person perspective. But of course that does mean that with all the players split up, there could be a lot longer waiting times for you to find games on the PTS, so keep that in mind. The South American servers are currently available now until October 15th to select and play on. The main goal is to gauge interest from the South American community and see if you can maintain a healthy concurrent user and matchmaking times. If you can sustain healthy matchmaking times for everyone, then they will extend the South American server open dates or permanently implement the South American servers into the games. So right now, the South American servers are open, but they're just testing it out and it will stay open depending on how many concurrent players they actually have on the servers. If there's not enough, then they will close. If there's enough, then they will stay open. Next, the devs have been investigating the use of hacks and cheats and have taken appropriate action against any players who have used them. The use of hacks and cheats is not tolerated and is against the rules of conduct, and they're now issuing permanent bans for those types of behavior, and any future instances will be dealt with the same way. So guys, not a lot of info in this week's community post then, just recapping stuff we already know. I'm sure there will be plenty of blackout related comments. There always is these days. I don't know though, I still feel like PUBG will make a comeback. There are still plenty of things that will bring players back to test it out anyway. Custom games and the training island, the new snow map. I think the game really needs the PS4 version as well to stay relevant in the coming months. But after Christmas is when I really think we will start to see whether the game is going to compete or not. Once maybe the new game hype has died down and the promised upcoming PUBG features and content have released, we will see where players have settled. I definitely think though that most people would pick a fully working PUBG over a fully working Blackout any day. So if the devs can fix the game rather than break it every update, it might do okay in the long run. They do have a 10 year plan for the game, but they definitely have to increase the amount of updates that they're doing and quality of updates as well, or else players are never gonna come back in the long run. Let me know what you think. But guys, that is it. A recap of this week's community update. Stay tuned for more PUBG videos. I will also have another video for PUBG when the PTS goes live. I'm sure that will be next week. Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.